There is an online petition calling for an investigation into the New York Police Department, specifically police officers from the Bronx, that stopped a man who got off a bus. Now, according to a witness on the scene, he alleges that the cops asked him to prove that he had paid for the fare on the bus. Well, he pulled out a receipt to show that, yes, he did in fact pay for it, but the cops did not let him go. And here's what happened. You put your hands on me. That's your dish, son. I said, sir. He didn't do nothing, man. He grabbed him off the bus. No, he put his hands on him. I got all that. I got it with you, man. Why are you still holding me, though? Let him go, man. This shit is crazy. I don't know you. This shit is crazy. I'm coming off the bus. You grabbed me. Who holds that, man? I got a ticket. I got ID. You still holding me. What is this about? You know, he didn't do nothing, man. He didn't do nothing, man. Turn around. He didn't do anything. Why are you doing this to me, dude? Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this to me, yo? Yo, he didn't do nothing, man. He paid his ticket. Yo, let him go. I don't believe this is happening, yo. Yo, help me, somebody. I'm not gonna fucking help me out here. I just go watch. I just go watch this shit. I just go watch this shit. Put my face down, man. Put my face on the floor, dog. No, please don't do this to me. Oh my God, this is so unnatural. No, please don't fuck me up. Don't fuck me up. Ah! Hell, my man. Face. My face. You still doing that? Ah! My face. So Daryl Reyes is the person, uh, the witness, who caught that all on camera, and I'm really happy that he posted that on Facebook. It immediately went viral. It got about 40,000 uh, views almost immediately, and that's how the petition came about. So uh, uh, one of our viewers sent this to me, uh, and then I watched the whole five-and-a-half-minute uh, video on Facebook, and then Daily News uh, picked it up and started covering it in New York. And it's interesting because it's not a story that involves extreme police violence. Obviously, the guy puts a knee on his head and obviously he's in a lot of pain there at the end. And then if you notice as he was getting up, the cop kicked him a little bit in the head, right? Uh, but there's no tasering, nobody got shot, nobody got killed, so it's not a big story. But as you watch the whole video, for some reason to me, it was more gut-wrenching than some of the worst abuses that we've shown, right? Because the guy clearly didn't do anything wrong, mm -hmm. clearly. From the beginning to the end, they say, hey, give me your ticket, give me your ID. He does. He has the ticket and the ID. He did exactly what he asked them. They still won't let him go. Why won't they let him go? It's maddening. Like, maybe they have reason, but they don't tell him. They don't tell anybody. Nope. They just say, no, you look like a perfectly legal citizen, but we're going to hold you here against your will. Uh, and then eventually, he understandably starts to lose patience. He's right. like, you've got to let me go. And then when they pin him down, and he's screaming like that, you feel like it's such an injustice. Like, here's a guy who got off a bus, did everything right, right? Works, um, I, you know, I don't know anything about the guy, but he you know, probably came home from work, he was on a bus, right? He came from something, he's going home, and then they just pull you down like that, and they, it's not just a matter of disrespect, man. It's a matter of like, they cr it's crushing your soul, right? Absolutely. I mean, they're harassing someone who did nothing wrong. But let's say, worst case scenario, the cops discover that he didn't actually pay his bus fare. That's not an arrestable offense. Worst case scenario, you give him a citation and he has to go on his way. And that's it. But they allowed it to escalate to that point. Now, the cops started getting physical with him as soon as he got up to walk away from them. He had been sitting there asking them what they're doing and why they are holding him down for a while. A few minutes had gone by, and finally he had had enough. So he decided to get up and walk away. But what I find so interesting about this video is it's another example of cops attacking someone that they feel is probably powerless. And in the grand scheme of things, he probably is powerless. But when we have technology on our side, and we can record what these cops are doing, well, all of a sudden, we can actually defend the powerless, which is why I'm 100% against cops that try to lobby to make sure that we uh, ban people from filming them when they're on duty. It's absolutely wrong. They're paid public employees. We should hold them accountable, and they should be investigated for what happened in that video. So let's say in a best case scenario for the cops, 
they were looking for somebody in specific, and they had to call in the headquarters to see if that was the guy. What's the harm in saying that to the guy? Right. So that, look, because remember, it's very likely that he's just a public citizen, like that, and you're supposed to be protecting him, right, from whoever you're looking for, right? That's very likely, right? So why wouldn't you say, hey, listen, I understand, but we've got to keep you here for a couple of minutes. But no, 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 you sit down, right? And the minute he understandably gets up and says, I, you know, and he didn't hit them, he didn't flail his arms, he just got up, right? Mm -hmm. And then it goes, oh, no, well, that's it. You started resisting, but you, you weren't even getting arrested. So, but now all of a sudden you are going to get arrested. And you understandably get pissed. And the more pissed you get, the more they abuse you. And then the other cops come in. And then they think, okay, oh, here's a guy down. He must have done something wrong. And then they put the knee to the head. And then they kick you while you're down. It's just when you see a normal guy like that get abused like that, look, obviously you think it could happen to anybody, mm -hmm. right? And... It's maddening, man. It's frustrating. Those guys are supposed to serve us, not attack us. I feel like we come across police brutality stories so often on the show. And I feel bad because I know that there are a number of really great cops out there that, that do protect us, that are ethical, and have real morals when it comes to society and, and serving us. But at the same time, there has to be something fundamentally wrong within local police departments if they think that this type of behavior is acceptable. I mean, they're doing it knowing that Reyes is filming them while they're in the process of this, and they just don't care. They continue on with it. It's unbelievable to me. Uh, last thing on this is that I, it, I put myself in his shoes, and I kept thinking, what would I do, right? And there's no good answer to that. You either got to eat their shit, right, or you get pounded on, and then you get arrested, and then they blame you, right? And then you got an arrest record, and they say immediately, what are they gonna say? Resisting arrest, mm -hmm. right? Uh, it, the minute you move, they're gonna say assaulting a police officer, right? So what the fuck are you supposed to do? I, I don't know, I don't know what the answer to that is.